Well, we destroyed them point blank. Look at that. <laughs> All right, everybody. Baron here, and welcome to Abandoned Ship. And no, you are not suffering from the scurvy or losing your mind. That is indeed, it kind of looks like a kraken. He's got three eyes here. I really love the font. Anyway, Abandoned Ship is a game that I have been looking forward to for quite a while. A wild chorus. The birth of a monster. What's this all about? Am I going to be fighting the kraken already? In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence drawn dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down! Flee this accursed place. All right, look at my ship. You could see that the art style, it's almost like um, an oil painting, I guess. This was inspired by those classic oil paintings, you know, from yonder years. What would you call that? Like basically history, right? So in Abandoned Ship, the object here is we take command of a ship and her crew, exploring a diverse, procedurally generated world and engaging enemy vessels in tactical combat. The game focuses on age of sail ships in a fantasy setting. Select a crew member by left clicking them. All right, so this is me. I'm good old Henry here. I'm gonna send you to uh, captain the ship here. Ooh, we've got a lifeboat. We've got, what is this? A chain shot round. We've got two rows of cannons on this side. Ooh, that looks like, oh, the ship. Okay, now wh who are you? This is the surgeon. Surgeon, you know what? We're gonna get you. Can I put you here? Yeah, I can. All right, and then this is the marine. This is my, you know what? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have both my guys on cannons. I don't know where I'm supposed to put them just yet. What is, what's, what is that? Oh, I've got to untie the ropes. Okay, back to your stations. Once we cut these lines, our pirate ship is going to take off. Man the ship's wheel. Okay, now I can man it. Okay. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away. A high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. Yeah, screw you, big guy. Bring on your ships, man. I don't even give a two craps about it. The coast of fortifications open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Mortar shells incoming. All right. Why is my surgeon over here? Hit the decks. Oh, <laughs> run. Oh, wait. A mortar shell has reduced a crew member to zero health. It was a direct hit. When this happens, you have a short time to stabilize them. Okay. I've got my surgeon. That was actually really convenient that I had my surgeon. The barrage has damaged the ship hull. In the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the hull health. If this bar is emptied, then the ship will sink. Okay. Oh my. Oh, look at this. Okay. So this is this is a game that's very similar to Bomber Crew and similar to FTL Faster Than Light in terms of you're managing the crew of a ship. In Bomber Crew, we did it for a four-engine bomber during World War II. FTL, it was spaceships. Now we got pirate ships. Repair those things. What? Mr. Sleeping Man. Oh, he's not, he's not fully alive just yet. But I can't get to it because this circle. Repair the section, okay. Oh, here's Sick Bay. Sick Bay's at the front of the ship? So for some reason, I can't, I, I guess I just lost a crew member. My Marine, Duarte. Duarte, you will always be remembered, sir. All right, now everybody else is fine. It's not over yet, take cover! Run! Oh! <laughs> Panic! Oh, what's that? That's a hole. Uh, I'm assuming it's telling me to do this. Ring the bell! So you can tell your crew to repair the hole cracks. Okay, that's kind of fun. So there's a lot of depth to this game already. Our ship looks really, really cool. I'm anxiously waiting. What is this? Emptying the water gauge. Oh, the water pumps. So if we send both of them... Now, where's my water meter? Oh, there it is. Okay, right here in the bottom left corner, it was starting to get blue. Now, I'm assuming at some point... We're nearly out of range, one more barrage incoming. I like how it's it's very intuitive, like I don't really need to read the uh, text prompts. I mean, I might be missing something, but when you got ADHD and uh, you're overly excited, you just want to go out there and give it a- We're out of range, but stay alert! Oh god, that's cryptic. Click the highlighted button to continue. A patrolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns! We owe them no mercy. We owe them no mercy, then we shall show them no mercy. Look at this little schooner. You're gonna get wrecked, son. Remember the lessons you've learned so far. Well, no one taught me how to fire just yet. Now I'm assuming, okay, surgeon, where do I want you? I'm gonna, can I?
Can I man? I want to man these guns, but it won't let me. All right, well, you're going to stay over here. Oh, look at this. So it looks like this is... I, I'm pretty sure from the video I've seen, I've been keeping up with this game, man. It's one of my anxiously waiting ones. Fire! Oh, I guess I, I should probably right-click. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! And look at them. They're, they're going down. Okay, oh, hold on. We've got a hole breach, and look, we've got a little bit of water. I don't think I'm going to need to uh, pump it out just yet. I think... But uh, I can. Might as well, right? All right. Man the guns, gentlemen. Man the guns. Look at that. Pew, pew. Oh, and they're auto-firing. Huh. Pause the game by pressing the space bar. You can also click the highlighted blah, blah, blah. Once you dismiss this message, you can issue orders while the game is paused. Ah, okay. So this is very similar. Very similar to FTL. I'm not sure if any game has done it before. What is this? My Duarte came back. So maybe he was just taking a nice nap. All right. Ooh. How are we doing? D did you see that? This, this, uh, these cannons had like some kind of a gassy, like chemical gas looking thing. And they're auto firing, but I want to, I want to do manually firing, right? I want to aim where the captain is with this guy. And then with this guy, I'm going to aim for like, I guess you could aim, should we aim lower? It seems like we're hitting the top of the deck. Maybe these are, I I'm not, oh, let's do that. Let's move closer. Oh, this is epic. Swivel guns, chain shot, finally. I was wondering what that was. It looked like a gun. That's loading up swivel guns, chain shot. So that is what we want to hit their canvas, hit their masts. It seems they've only got one mast. We've got two. Oh, you know what? After after I fire this chain shot, I'm going to go repair that. We've, we've got the time. It doesn't need to be rushed. All right. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Now go repair that hole, sir. And then after you're done repairing it, we've got, oh, a uh, grape shot. So that's good for dealing with the crew on the deck, right? So let's do that. Man the parapets! Even though it's a ship and not a castle, but, you know, don't mind me. Now, are we going to destroy this ship before? So it looks like they've got what? They've only got two guns. Uh, that looks like their med bay. There's somebody over there just chilling. This is their navigator. I guess this is their captain, maybe. And then their, oh, anchor man? Is that what you call him? Anchor man! Let's aim for these two guys, right? Yeah, that was awesome, okay. Now repair that hole. I think we're gonna go for, oh, that's really cool. So this was for uh, slowing them down maybe or damaging their sails. And then this was destroying the crew on the deck and this is for destroying the ship. What if I go right here? I guess that would be a ram then. Okay, maneuvers can only be initiated if someone is, yeah. Ramming, oh! When you're ready, press the highlighted button to ram. Oh, okay, it's down here. Ramming speed! I was wondering if we were gonna get a ram. Brace for impact. Okay. Brace for impact, gentlemen! Boom! The enemy failed their brace test. The impact even caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. Look, you can see him flipping right here. They can man the winch at the back of the ship to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. Your own winch is highlighted. If any of your crew are in the water, be sure to man the winch to rescue them. Now finish them off, you can pull back and keep shooting, at, or at this range you can even choose to board them. Win battles by killing all the enemy crew, destroying the ship, or making it take on too much water. Keep the pressure on the enemy, dictate the battle. Yeah! Alright, alright. We're, we're doing good. Now, I'm actually gonna pull back to medium range and finish them off here. HA! Get wrecked! And this guy's so... So, uh, okay. And so this is the winch, this is how I get the crew members, I guess. Boom! boom. What? One, one more salvo? Yeah, I think we got it. I think that's the uh, the sinking animation going on. Look at how beautiful the ocean is. This is such a cool game. I'm digging it. All right, so we have learned the basics. Oh, I just noticed that really cool art. At the end of the battle, you are able to salvage anything of value. So this is what I'm curious about. In other games of, of the pirating nature, if you got rid of all the enemy crew, you usually got the enemy ship as a prize, right? And so your loot would usually be better. Is that the case in this game? This is something we need to learn about. Grab what you can! Or what is it? Take what you can! Give nothing back! Ha ha ha! As long as you have the water pumps, yeah... Uh, so what, do I gotta, do I gotta water pump it? Yo, pump it up. Alright, leave by going to the world map. You've avoided further cold patrols and managed to make it to port. So the world map is something that they're working on right now. This is early access. This is actually, well, this is a uh, YouTuber streamer preview build that they gave me. So keep that in mind. It's a little limited. And yes, they did give it to me for free because I've been, 
I've been hounding these guys like, I want to play this game. I want to play this game for like eight months, maybe. In the full game, you can enter ports. Yeah, see, that's the thing, the exploration map. All right, the port shops are where you can purchase new weapons, upgrades, obtain supplies, repair your ship, or purchase a new vessel. Well, I'll be darned. Your gold and supplies are found here. So there will be plenty of terrible pirate accents used in the making of these videos, and I, I'm going to enjoy it, so I hope you do too. All right, now do we, uh, on this occasion we have repaired? Oh, well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. So I can hire a mortar. Empty ship slot, but that's right near the medical bay. All right, mortars, land projectiles onto the enemies below. High hull and high section damage but moderate crew damage. So this is for damaging the ship in and of itself, specifically the modules. I like the chain shot, we've got that. Um, I actually wanna see the ship right, we can't. Purchasing weapons, well they want me to do this one, right? So if I drag it, I want my mortar in the front. Oh look, it's right here, okay. You can sell weapons. Let's increase the number of cannons in one of our batteries. More cannons equal more damage. A harpoon? Hull armor? That looks awesome. It almost looks like a Roman trireme or a Greek trireme. Upgrades. Improve your ship. You can buy and sell upgrades in a similar way to the weapons by dragging them to the correct slot. You can improve the performance. So this is what navigation, sails, and power. And this is looks like a sauce. So maybe the armor of the ship overall. I don't know. An upgraded sick bay is quicker at healing crew. Higher level mass will make your ship move faster. Oh, is that what the saw is? The sick bay? Or increased helm. Okay, increased helm is better maneuvers. Higher mass. Okay, so that's actually the sick bay. Because remember, like, back in the day, the medical stuff was like, there's, there's amputations going on. When you've finished in the shops, press the button to leave and return to the main port. Oh my god, I can drag it and I can sell my lifeboat. Right now, I'd only get 15 for it. But if I wanted to buy a new one, it'd cost 60. Where's my income at right now? Okay, I've only got 21 gold anyway. Well, look at this. Okay, so my crew just got a bunch of money, maybe the, uh, from a game of cards, and now I can recruit some new crew members. So we don't have a navigator, and we don't have uh, a sailor, and a sailor looks like he's better at repairing. Navigators, Henry, myself, can do that. I'm pretty good at doing, being, it's like, where would I, where would I want myself? Actually, if I'm the rover, I would be repairing, so I guess, yeah, I'm gonna be the rover. Alright, so, uh, now we bought a new one. And we're out of money. That's, that, that works out. You leave toward the docks, which are swarming with a growing crowd. Dozens of ships flying the cultists insignia are approaching. The curiosity and tension is palpable. Several ships seem to have had a similar idea, attempting to escape the incoming cult vessel. Some slow down and surrender, others speed past the blockade, while in, some engage in battle. The Cultist ship bearing down fast doesn't leave you with much choice. Let's fight him! Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, they're moving away from me. Well, fine. I'm gonna maneuver here. I'm gonna man all the guns, baby. This guy's already on him. Incoming! Alright, where's Duarte? Oh, I am... Which one was I? Oh, that's my navigator. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? They just fired a torpedo! Halifron are aquatic monsters that appear on cult vessels. They can dive into the water, swim at great speed, and board you there. What? I thought they were firing a torpedo. It is, it is some kind of creature. Where's my marines? Get tactical, marines. No, no, no. I want this guy. We're here. Oh! Run, surgeon! Fight this guy! My god, man! Squid billies! Alright, that's a fire up there, boys. You get back here on the chain shot. Actually, yeah, wait, do we have this right? No, we do not. Man, this is, this is tricky. Are we putting out those fires? Good, good, good work, boys. Good work, good work. All right, and then once that fire's put out, oh my gosh, my, my health. That was some weird fires, dude. Some strange gases. How are we doing overall? I'd say we're getting, what was that? Oh, that was just a piece of fragmentation, okay. Now, I'm going to try to hit them so they're less than maneuverable. And I'm gonna keep that up. I'm actually gonna try to get into medium distance. I feel just more comfortable with it. Fire the cannons, gentlemen! We will deal with these pirates, these cultists. What are they called? The Halifron or something like that? Okay, so we've got three guys there. Out of range, okay. Well then I'm... Are we, are we, are they, they're moving away from us. I'm attempting to move it at closer range, but it's not working. 
So let's go ahead and try to try to hit their uh, sails a bit more so that we've got better navigation. There we go. That allowed me to get closer to them. Now, am I in range yet? Out of range still, so this is a close range weapon. How is the ship doing? We've got a little bit of water, but there's no active holes or anything like that. As far as health is concerned, the only guy with the main problem right now. Hey, look at them. They're trying to move away from me again. Okay, so then, hmm. I need, to, I need to have that more on a more active thing. There we go. I'm gonna try to get in as close as possible. So that I can use this, uh... Oh, you know what? Screw that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use my mortar. For the first time, like, I like how intuitive it is. Oh, man, their ship... Their ship, we're probably gonna take it out with long-range cannon fire even before I get this mortar up. But I was trying to sweep the crew. The mortar's ready. Fire in the hole! Prepare your butts! Boom! That mortar finished him off. Okay, so the mortar does high impact damage. Look at that. I love it. Look at this. The ship is being sunk. I wish we could have gotten in closer range, but now we know we need to really use these sail sweepers. I call them sail sweepers, but it's chain shot because we sweep the sails, you know, from all the times playing, um... Blackwake in games like that. The fleeing vessel dealt with. Three more cult ships tack a course for revenge on the ship you've laid to rest. With no time for salvage, you raise sails in a frenzy. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the tutorial. You have now learned enough to play the combat demo. Oh, fantastic. Let's do it. This combat demo will take you through 10 sequential battles of increasing difficulty. In the full game, you can navigate through the world via an exploration mode. What you are about to play is only one facet of the game. Everything you'll see here is alpha quality. You may encounter bugs, giant kraken people, or work in progress items. We will improve and polish. Okay. Let's do it. To battle. Let's manage my crew. Before you commence your first battle, would you like to visit port to review your crew? Yeah, actually, I would. I want to I wanna see what's going on. Let's, uh, let's, see, let's see the crew first off. Okay, I've got 175 bucks, and we've got four people. So if it's increasing difficulty... This is actually a pretty interesting mode. So I do want a navigator because I want him to be steering the ship. So why myself, Captain Patrick here of the HMS Toasty Toast um, is going to be kind of the rover doing repairs and everything. Yeah, since we don't have a repairman, we do have a gunner and we've got, uh, we, oh my God, I don't want to dismiss him. Look, I already had one. I would have bought a Marine, Maurice. Well, well, you know what? We're behind the eight ball, and I'd have it no other way. Actually, I'd rather be ahead of it. So let's uh, let's just go fight. You know, I'm probably Ooh, okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, so all right, they're loading those cannons. You, Marine, over here. You, Mister Sailor, over there. That's my that's myself, the captain. All right, how how do we got? I'm gonna go for those guys. Weapons out of range. Man, you gotta be really close. Yeah, we got a little bit of water incoming, but I want him to get his salvo off. Oh, here we go. Alright, so you go repair. Out of range, man. Let's move to uh, closer range. Are they... It seems like they're trying to navigate to stay further away, but am I in range yet? Out of range. Oh, I don't have that mortar, do I? That is unfortunate. So we're gonna be focusing with our cannons here. Just, oh, that did fantastic damage. We're still out of range. They won't let us get close. So then I'm going to use this guy on the chain shot. Why aren't you repairing that? I guess it's not auto. And I do, I do gotta use uh, pause a little bit more. So I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, go ahead and repair that. And you know what? We're, we're not gonna have too much of an issue here, I think, in terms of dealing damage to these foes. All right, and now nobody needs to go to the med bay. I think maybe the next thing I might want to do is upgrade to a mortar. Yeah, I'm trying to get here, so they're just staying away. Uh, you can see that little chevron over there. All right, that's that's good indication. So then I should focus on... I really would like to see... Oh, the, see, look at that. Okay, perfect. That does allow me to get a little bit closer. We're still out of range, so this is a very, very close range weapon system we've got. So if we fire maybe one more time... These guys are about to fire in unison and just absolutely wreck those guys. Out of range. Come on, boys. Oh, see, look. Oh, that's nice. Intuitive. I love intuitive stuff. How are we doing? I'd say we're doing pretty good. Other than the fact that I need a weapon system that allows me to fire four 
things at once. Yeah, there we go. We got him. All right. Let's go and do the second one. And look, now we finally get to get close and see what's happening to this enemy ship as we sink them. Oh, they had harpoons. Did you see that? Those are either harpoons or kind of like, ooh, we got 128 gold. The ship sinks, but plenty of useful supplies and materials and textiles are floating on the surface. You blow a kiss to Lady Luck. Thanks, Lassie. Let's go to port. Oh, we've only got five remaining. And there's nine ships to go. Then I think we've got to do every two ships. All right, close the distance. Oh, they look very armored. I'm going to buy a mortar after this. Yeah, they're, they're trying to keep their distance on me. So this is gonna be all about weapon not loaded. Oh, I guess you can't auto fire some of these uh, weapon systems. Now, why do we have cannons on this side? That's the one thing I'm not entirely sure of. Out of range, that is just no nothing new here. Oh, what was that? What was that? What on earth was that? That's a crazy weapon I've never seen before. I'm wondering, should, is this one of those battles we want to stay at farther range? We're taking a fair amount of damage. Or was that damage left over from the last one? Man, we're, we're close. I really would like to do, since they have less crew... Once I get one more, we should be able to close the range, uh, close distance. Those are some holes. It looked like. All right. Okay. Uh, are we able to get in there? We are. Good. There we go. All right. Now go repair that hull. So we did that to damage their crew to hopefully uh, distract them and force them to do something else. I wonder what the 10th ship's going to be. Oh, man. We've got holes back there. Let's go ahead and take that out. I really want to. I, I really want to see if I can't eliminate some of the crew, because that would be really fun to get good at, right? Or, or kind of learn that skill, kind of experiment with it, see how viable of a tactical option it is. All right, so we've got two guys back there. Woo! We eliminated one. We did it, boys. You don't need those sails. You don't need nothing. And look at that. So we've started to get some a competitive edge. Where this is this is a decisive edge at this point. But I'm really look. I'm really liking this grape shot. All right, I'm gonna go for the weak guy. Oh, okay. I thought we missed him, but he got splattered here. And look, now these guys are just repairing. So it's like, should we try to board them? I think we should. Oh, oh, oh prepare for bracing impact and stuff, right? All right, we can't do that. Ha ha! Hee hee hee! No, I want to brace. I want to ram. I want to board them. Too close to ram. Okay. Well, we destroyed them point blank. Look at that! <laughs> Destroy the enemy ship. Now, I do like how they they kept it so like you can't. They basically hide the sails. Fire! <laughs> Invalid target. Your crew managed to reclaim some useful materials from the destruction. All right, so let's go to the port, and then I want you guys to. Kind of let me know how we should upgrade it, right? So we can buy a mortar. We've got... Is this upgrading the grape shot or is this just getting another one? A suppression. This is a... Oh, wait. No, that's what we have. Or is it? This one looks like grape shot. A swivel gun designed to knock enemy crew to the floor and stun them. Stuns crew in an area for a short duration. Does no damage in close maximum range. Both these are close maximum range. Now, I'd be really cool to see if we can't get... Ooh, we could do hull spikes, harpoons, and automatic winch. That pulls in crew without the need for crew to operate the winch. That seems like a pretty good upgrade. So I'm going to be showing you the upgrades. I want you guys to let me know maybe the best route to go. Or, like, get your input. There's so many weapon systems, but it looks like we can easily put mortars. How much is that? So that is 30. We could use... Well... Oh, that's... <gasps> I'm losing money each time I do it. That needs to be changed, I think, because we just blew some money right there, which is a little disappointing, but we can go back and try this from the beginning. So I want to know how we should design. I'm thinking I might just focus on upgrading my cannons first and foremost, and then kind of getting into 
the other upgrades. A mortar would be good and it allows me... Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a medium to long range build. I might even sell the uh, grape shot. And then this chain shot would be uh, advantageous, especially if we encounter a build or an enemy ship that's trying to board us. I think that's what I'm leaning towards. More of a, a medium to short range. But the good thing about this is we're probably going to be able to check out a few different styles of ships. Maybe one time we do the medium and long, and maybe the other we focus on getting up close and dirty. All right, so let's return to the port. I want to see the crew members. So we can have a maximum of six crew members. That's the world map, that's the messages, return to port, what was the other option? And sail back to sea. All right, everybody, so let's just go. You fought two battles, there are eight to go. This is pretty cool, this is pretty cool, guys. Let me know what we should do, how we should upgrade the ship. This is Abandoned Ship, a game I have been anxiously awaiting for quite a while. Happy Monday, Brigade. I'll see you guys in the next video.